What's up, y'all? This is King Leno. I'm back again. This time, I'm doing a um, Best Buy. And it's not really a walkthrough or anything like that because, as you can see, uh, at this point, I'm pretty much almost uh, finished texturing the asset and with the modeling part. Uh, there are some slight changes that I make over the course of this video to the model and to the texture, but for the most part, everything remains the same. And I wanted to do a Best Buy again because I was just not uh, satisfied with the Best Buy that I currently have uh, on the workshop. I feel like you know it's a tad bit small for the assets that I've been making recently, uh, as well as just not satisfied with the texture of it. And so I want the to create a whole new asset versus. Uh, going back and trying to update that particular asset as you can see uh, later on in this video I'll be comparing the previous Best Buys that I've made with this most recent one uh, also in the video you'll see me doing some of the prop placement and some of the uh, normal map creation a lot of that stuff I, I just kinda cut out because I didn't want to watch it again myself um, you know, in the future, hopefully, once I get used to uh, <laughs> doing these voiceovers and doing the editing and, you know, all this stuff that's really kind of foreign to me, hopefully I'll be able to get a video up maybe once every week. And doing these uh, videos really kind of helps me focus more on what I'm doing as an asset creator because previously, when I'm working on assets, I'm working on, um, you know, 10... 10 things at once but having to record and uh, really keep track of what I'm doing it's kind of made me slow down more and become more focused um, hopefully this will be my last commercial asset for some time after uh, doing the Skyland Mall and you know all the department stores that I did with that uh, I'm really kind of burnt out of the commercial assets right now. I'm probably more so burnt out on uh, the request comments that I get for particular buildings and assets. And, you know, y'all, there are a lot of commercial buildings and stores that, you know, I personally want to have in the game. But as an asset creator, you want to do new and different things. You want to try. Uh, different things you always want to kind of push yourself rather than just kind of doing the same kinds of buildings over and over again um, and so for the rest of the video I think there's a, about a few more minutes of uh, the time lapse and uh, the best buy in the asset creator and so I'll be back toward the end of the video uh, once I get the asset uh, once I do the Rico settings and get the asset imported into the game. All right, y'all, I'm back. And as you can see here, I have a test city loaded up. And uh, to the far right, you can see the smaller, uh, very tiny, growable 4x4 version of Best Buy. That was my first Best Buy. And looking at these buildings, I actually think they all are basically the same model, uh, just scaled and resized. Um, but overall, I'm very pleased with um, this Best Buy, the updated Best Buy asset. I had a lot of complaints about the LOD on the second uh, Rico Best Buy building. And as I said previously, rather than going back and trying to update uh, an asset that I'm not 
uh, particularly satisfied with uh, in this situation it's best to just you know start fresh and create a completely different asset and so I, I really feel like this one fits in well with a lot of the buildings that I've done recently so I'm excited to upload this building and, and see what you guys create and how this fits into your city so I hope you guys subscribe and enjoy